Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie here. On today's video, I'm going to do a review of the V Sun SPF 30 sunscreen. Now, this I got from Pink Box a long time ago. And this is the only time that I could use it or um, test it. So, it is quite um, very warm outside. Uh, we are in the peak of the summer season here in Germany and maybe you could hear the background noise of my um, fan. So just so you know it's so warm and I can't live without it therefore I need to turn it on. And we are going to look at the features that it has to offer. Okay so this is again like what I've said V-Sun Premium Sun Care Don't Blush SPF 30. It has UVA, UVB, infrared high protection waterproof sun cream face. Now, I'm going to put the uh, price in the complete description of this item um, at the comment section down below. So if you wanted to know more about it um, and wanted to read it, then click the comment section down below for more details and information and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel like this video and click that notification bell so you will be updated whenever I uploaded new videos okay going back to this item guys like what I've said it is UVA UVB infrared high protection waterproof sun cream face and um, it is produced here in Heidelberg, Germany. It is coral friendly formula. So um, it, apart from that, it is also vegan. Maybe to those of you who are interested, this is vegan. Okay, now let's give it a try and let's see. It is quite creamy, very white. Now I'm quite interested if there is a white cast afterwards because I think that is very important if you are having or wearing a sunscreen. Mmm, smells really nice. Smells really nice. Unfortunately, I could not test it outside. I won't, don't even want to test it outside though because um, outside it's so warm and at the same time, it is also very humid maybe you could still hear my fan uh, from the background it is because i'm turning on my fan just so i could um survive this summer german summer is quite um, a mess a trouble <laughs> it is even like warmer compared to the philippines because in the philippines it is pretty breezy so even if it is too warm still you could cast some fresh air and you wouldn't feel that much warm compared here not only that um, the area or the places in the Philippines are highly ventilated air-conditioned so you just have to go to the establishment and then you could feel this cold air which is quite pleasant here no, not really. Not all of the stores do have ventilation, like um, air conditioned. Not really. So, if it is summer here, a lot of people are putting their roll downs quite close just so they could keep the room temperature pretty um, cool the best uh, way they could do. Now, here it is pretty nice to the face I must say it smells good um, and yeah the first impression was quite nice now what I like about it it has UVA and UVB protection so when we talk about UV rays uh, protection A for aging so it's anti-aging and UVB is for burning so if you are looking for a sunscreen protection go for something which is at least spf 30 just like this one uh, and then you need to apply it like a, a couple of hours um once after you like maybe um you're done swimming and then um you need to apply reapply it so at least like 
two hours every two hours you need to reapply especially if you're going swimming or whenever uh, you need it to it is high protection because uh, I think SPF 30 starting at SPF 30 is considered to be high protection sunscreen on the other hand what I don't like about it though it says here waterproof now you could research it all and everything you could and you want there is no such thing as waterproof sunscreen so if some people are claiming that it is waterproof it is water resistant normally the FDA does not uh, allow labels as such waterproof because it is giving wrong information or maybe wrong expectation to the consumer some consumer may think that buying waterproof sunscreen which actually never exists um, are more effective compared to those which are only water resistant um, a sunscreen could be water resistant but never waterproof okay so bear that in mind other than that though that is the only thing that I could yeah I don't like about it just the label itself maybe they could change it into water resistant then I'm fine with it but then all in all like the feeling itself and it doesn't feel like those usual um, SPF protection or sunscreen so to say because it feels so smooth on your face very creamy even in your hands I could even use it as a like just a normal cream like moisturizing cream it does moisturize also so I, I like it I think apart from the label itself that is just something which I maybe don't like so much okay guys I hope you do like this video and if you do like this video consider giving me a thumbs up share this video and don't forget to click that notification bell so you will be updated whenever I uploaded new videos have fun your child, you got nothing to hide yeah your future so bright so just smile like there's no one watching early morning